Hi, and welcome to my updated guide of the Ardoin Easy Diary. Quest requirements are Rune Mysteries and Biohazard. Stat requirement is simply 5 thieving. I just it is one rusty sword, but there is a 1% chance that you will be needing two. The best way to obtain a rusty sword is digging up soil in the dig site. Though, to be able to do this method, you must first pass the first exam during the dig site quest. The second fastest would be to pick pocket ham members at a rate of 1 in 25, and the third fastest would be to kill ham guards at a rate of 1 in 27 and a half. Then you will also need 100 coins, there is a 1% chance that you will be needing 200 coins. And finally, also one piece of silk. When you are in Lumbridge or at the dig site getting your rusty sword, I suggest you to visit El Carrot and go to the silk stall to buy a piece of silk for two coins. You could also buy one from the Grand Exchange. If you don't want to buy the silk from the Grand Exchange or El Carrot, you could also steal it from the silk stall if you have over 20 thieving, though you must wait longer than 10 minutes outside of Ardoin. To be able to complete this final Ardoin diary task. For the recommended items is one stamina potion if you have access to it or a couple of energy potions. Also do not bring anything that you do not wish to lose as we will be visiting the level 51 wilderness for three seconds. And because we're visiting the wilderness I do not suggest you to be in the high risk world. And finally for the teleports one teleport to Yanil, which could be the Nightmare Zone minigame teleport, Watchtower teleport, Fairy Ring CIQ, or the Dual Ring. And one teleport to Port Hazard, which is going to be the Fishing Troll minigame teleport, if you do not use the Nightmare Zone teleport. Else, it is just simply going to be a walk. Where to start your first Ardoin Easy Diary task out of 10 is at Wizard Copper Tree in the blue checker building northeast of the East Ardoin Market. Let's right click on him and teleport. If you are unable to, then please complete the Rune Mysteries quest. Next, go to any of the four rooms and use the teleport to go back to Ardi. Next, go back west and back to the market. Let's go to the Eastern Baker stall and stand underneath the baker and then steal from its stall to complete task 2 out of 10. Next, go southwest and talk to the silk merchant. Select option 3 and then 2. 120 coins and then 60 coins. Next, Continue west, that is task 3 out of 10. On the way there, let's use a couple of prayers to reduce some prayer points. Let's enter the first, the second southern building, the one with the pet sign. Let's right click on Probita, then exit to complete task number 4. Next, go north and enter the church. Turn off our prayers and let's recharge at the altar to complete task number 5 out of 10. Next, go west and let's enter the wilderness. Once again, I do not suggest you to be on a high risk world. Go northwest of the East Ardoin Castle to the teleport sign. Use the lever or pull the lever and once you are in the wilderness, immediately teleport back. That are the tasks of East Ardoin done. Next, let's go north. And if you have completed the biohazard quest, let's go northwest. West of the Chaos Druid Tower, north of West Ardoin, we should find the combat training camp with the caged ogres. Let's open the gate to enter the training camp to complete task 7. Out of 10. Next, for task number 8, I would like to visit Yanil. The most common way to teleport to Yanil would be to use the Nightmare Zone minigame teleport. That is, if you've already unlocked 4 or more quest bosses in Nightmare Zone. If you do not have this teleport unlocked, another common way would be to use the dual ring to Castle Wars and then simply running east. 
And some other teleports would be to teleport to your POH if it is located in Yanil after 50 construction, the Watchtower teleport if you've already completed the quest with the same name, or use the fairing code CIQ. If you haven't unlocked any of these teleports yet, then it is going to be a hike for you. Once we are here in Yanil, the most central building, let's enter it and trade... Uh, not Leon, the other one, Alec, Alec, to complete task number eight. And for our final two tasks, we will need to make our way to Port Kazard, which is just a little bit northeast from Yenil. If you have 15 fishing and you haven't used the Nightmare Zone minigame teleport, then you can use the Fishing Trawler minigame teleport. For everyone else, just run for about 20 seconds. There are two tasks, one on the southern dock and one on the northern dock. First, let's go to Tyndall on the southern dock, right click and give sword, and keep pressing space or clicking to continue until you've completed task 9 out of 10. If you are part of the 1%, then the rusty sword actually had nothing inside. Then you will need to give Tyndall 100 more coins and a rusty sword to be able to complete this task. For the final task, we will need to go on to the Northern Dock. Hey, could you do me a favor and bring in our Doin Teleport onto Fishing Trawler? And when the game starts and you've completed your final task, could you, instead of waiting 3 minutes, just simply teleport away? Okay, thanks. Back to the regular live commentary. The first minute is before takeoff, because we're waiting for other players to join our game of Fishing Trawler. And then one more minute that we'll have to wait before we are kicked out of the minigame. Or if the boat sinks. So, simply go AFK for two minutes to complete our final easy Ardoin diary task. Then we will simply need to head over to the quest start of the Temple of Vykov quest, which is the inn located north of the East Ardoin castle and south of the quest start of Plague City. In there, we will need to talk to two pints to complete the Ardoin Easy Diary. The rewards are an XP lamp that provides 2500 XP that you can put on any skill above level 30. You can trade your cat or overgrown cat to West Ardoin citizens for 200 death runes instead of 100, as well as the Ardoin cloak that can teleport you to the Ardoin monastery for an unlimited amount of times which is close to a fairing and an altar. Also, this cloak provides magic attack, defense and prayer bonus. Once the fishing trawler ship has sunk, we will need to exit this by climbing on a barrel. And this will teleport us to south of the Necromancy Tower, which has been unused ever since its release mid-2002. Alright, let's make our way northwest to the inn north of the East Ardoin Castle to claim our reward. Two pinties give me the cloak. The reward is quite... Alright, that is a cloak that has magic attack, defense and prayer bonus, and an XP lamp that provides 2500 XP that you can put on any skill above level 30. And also death runes, 200 instead of 100 per cat created to West Ardoin citizens. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.